of your nights. Try to land a blow against me. This is a poem that's been dissected, analyzed, and retold for the better part of a millennium. I'd never read the poem, so it took me completely by surprise. This was a character that really resonated with me. Indulge me in this game. One year hence. <laughs> the Green Knight is based on an Arthurian legend, Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, which was written in the 14th century by a poet who to this day remains anonymous. It's essentially about King Arthur's headstrong nephew, Sir Gawain, who sets out on a quest to face the mysterious and terrifying Green Knight. You must seek him out. Was it not just a game? Perhaps. <laughs> but it is not complete. He's entitled. He lives a life of comfort. He is desperately wanting to be valued by King Arthur and earn a place at the round table with all these great knights. And what do you hope to gain from facing all of this? Honor. That is why a knight does what he does. You could see such an ulterior vision in this script. It exists in this metaphorical, spiritual, almost psychedelic space at times. It was a universe unto itself. Ireland was the first place we went. We needed to find these rugged locales, these majestic vistas and these landscapes. If you look at this film, it's so beautifully composed, but at the same time working with David, he never feels like he's imposing this vision on you. No one else could have created this. Ultimately, I wanted to make a movie in which a knight goes on an adventure, a knight goes on a quest. I love those stories, I love the movies that participate in that legacy, and this is one of them. Are you ready? <laughs>